Yo, what's good, what's good out there, world? Welcome to this edition of Smoking and Baking with Trademark. And today, I'm going to be making for you our applesauce pound cake. And the ingredients are as follows. I'm going to be using one and a half cups of unsweetened applesauce. Now, if you use the sweetened applesauce or the applesauce with cinnamon in it already... I would just suggest you cut back on the cinnamon and the sugar that you add in to your cake. I'm going to be using two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of sugar, and one half cup of brown sugar. I'm going to be using two large eggs. Here in the back, I have one and a half teaspoons of ground uh, cinnamon and one fourth teaspoon of ground uh, cloves. Right here I have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and for my buttercream icing I'm going to be using some heavy whipping cream, some powdered sugar, some vanilla and also some unsalted butter. I'm going to be using my bunt pan today and I'm going to be spraying that down with Baker's Joy. And I'm going to be mixing everything in my stand mixer. Um, when I was going back looking into this recipe, a lot of people do this by hand. So you can mix it by hand if you like. But let's get started with Trademark's Applesauce Pound Cake made from scratch. Made by Trademark. So the first thing that I want to do is start to sifting my flour so I'm just going to sift some at a time And I'm also going to take the time to put in my one and one half teaspoons of ground cinnamon and my one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves. And I'm just going to sift this all together. So as in all, everything is now sift. I'm just going to take my uh, wooden spoon and just mix it all together. So first, I'm going to add my two eggs to my stand mixer, and I'm going to add my sugars. This is one cup of white sugar, and I have a half a cup of this packed brown sugar. Put my stand mixer down, and I'm going to mix this on a low, on a low speed. And I'm going to mix this until it's creamy. So before I go in with the rest of my ingredients, I'm going to stop my mixer just to uh, give it a wipe now. Before I add in the rest of my ingredients. So the next ingredient I'm going to add is, this is one, a little over one and a half cups of applesauce. I'm going to add that unsweetened applesauce and then I'm going to add something I forgot to tell you but I'm going to add in two-thirds cup of vegetable oil now I'm gonna put my stand mixer down and the whole time I mix this cake is gonna always be on its lowest setting so I'm going to let that mix a little bit before I put in my flour. And remember, I sifted my cinnamon and my cloves in my flour already so I don't have to do that. So I'm going to put my uh, flour in it as in portions, like maybe three portions. And 
And I'm gonna let this mix. I'm gonna turn it up one more now. And once I start seeing that get incorporated, I'll add in more. It smells real cinnamon, 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 cinnamon -y, cinnamon -y. Okay, I got it. But it's after really smell the cinnamon. I smell the cloves. It smells like real, like a you know fall. But you can eat this cake for dessert. This can be something that you can eat with your uh, coffee in the morning. Uh, this is make a good munchy snack when you know. You do a little smoking and you get the munchies. Yep. So this is down to the last bit of flour that I'm adding in. And even after I finish this, I probably still will mix it with my hand just for a little bit. That's all. And I'll see you when it's finished mixing. Oh, I almost forgot to add my one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. I mean, baking powder. I already preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and now I'm going to spray down my bunt pan. So here's my applesauce cake batter. Like I said, um, I did mix it by hand a little bit after I removed it from the mixer so I'm going to now get this into my grease cake pan I'm now going to use my spatula just to even it out I'm going to give it a little shake and a tap like I said, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to leave it in the oven for 45 minutes. Uh, but if it takes a little longer than 45 minutes, I will leave it in there in five minute increments. And until my toothpick comes clean, then I'll know it's done. So hopefully I'll see you guys in 45 minutes when the cake get out the oven. So here it goes, trademarks, homemade, made from scratch, applesauce pound cake. I'm going to take my toothpick and insert it in to make sure it comes out clean, and it did. So now I'm going to let my cake fully cool off, and while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to make my homemade buttercream glaze. Let's get to this buttercream uh, glaze. In my mixing bowl, I have one fourth cup of heavy cream milk. I have one half a stick of melted unsalted butter. And I also have one tablespoon of vanilla. Right here, I already have sifted three cups of powdered sugar. Now, I always normally use either two to three cups, depending on how thick I want my icing. So I'm gonna just add in some gradually at a time until I get that perfect, uh, the desired mix that I want. So I'm finished mixing my buttercream and as you can see it's at the texture that I like. Now uh, when I started making it I put in one fourth cup of uh, heavy cream. I wound up putting in another one fourth cup 
And we all know that one-fourth and one-fourth is two-fourth. And if we take that down, it's one-half. So in all, I used one-half cup of uh, heavy cream. So here's my cake. It's nice and it's warm. It's cooled off. And I'm just going to pretty much drizzle this over the cake. And I'm going to let it fall as it may. And like I said, it's up to you on how thick you want your glaze. I like my glaze to be kind of thick. And it's going to just free fall down on the cake. As you can see, it's free falling. Might want to add a little more right here. Just to make it look even, that's all. And also I wind up using all three cups of the powdered sugar. So I'm going to clean this up some and give you that final presentation. So here's the final presentation of Trademarks Homemade made from scratch, applesauce pound cake with buttercream icing also made from scratch. And I just decided to put some sugar sprinkles on top of it just to give it a little color, a little decoration. But I'm getting ready to cut into this and see how it looks. So here it goes. It looks moist. Now, let me taste it. Mm. Man. It's good. It tastes like everything that I thought it was going to taste like. It's nice and it's moist, as you can see. So, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe to my page. Trademark would really appreciate it. Until my next video, be blessed.